Next week's number 100 day. Got comic books for pickups number 19. And here's my books for the last three weeks. I meant to upload this video last Wednesday, so a week ago. But I've been really busy. I had two graduation parties for my fifth for some cousins. And I like been busy going to driving school and stuff. Because it's like almost every night of the week and weird hours. Usually the time that I would record or upload a video. So I was going to upload it yesterday, but I realized I'm just going to go to the comic store tomorrow. Even though I only have like three books to pick up. Um, so here's a book from three weeks ago. Batman Eternal number 8. It was a good book. Batman 31. It was a really good book too. And here's like a book from like a month ago, or three weeks ago. Amazing Spider-Man number two, this is my second copy. Guardians of the Galaxy number 15. Thunderbolts 26, this was a good book because they're starting uh, with the new, with some new stuff in 27. All new dupe number two. This is the last issue I'll be picking up. I'll be dropping it, even though it's good. You know, it's not worth four bucks. Even though it's only a five issue limited series. Amazing X Men number seven. This book was really good and pretty funny. Amazing X Men eight. This book was amazing. I really liked it. I'm thinking about dropping the series, but not 100% sure yet. And then. You yeah, got Amazing X-Men Annual number one. This was really good too. It was a lot about Storm and stuff. You got Avengers 29. I didn't read this yet. I think I might have already showed this in another video. Avengers number 30. Didn't read this yet either. So, the books from two weeks ago. Batman Eternal. I mean, the books from last week. Oh, wait. These books are from two weeks ago, not three weeks ago. So, Batman Eternal number nine. This was a really good book. Moon Knight number four, awesome book. It had more writing this time. Original Sin number three, good book. It was pretty thick. Really shocking about what happens at the end. You guys should read it. Guardians of the Galaxy Prelude, movie prelude, limited series number two of two. I didn't read this yet, but I flicked through it and looked pretty cool. So now on to this week's books. Walking Dead 127. My nicer copy I put in the Mylar. And my reader copy. Two of those. Batman Eternal number 10. This was a really good book. I just came straight home and read these and read, read a little bit in the car. Now here's a new series I'll be picking up for two issues only. Wolverine number 8. Three Months to Die storyline. I'll only be picking up the next issue and this was okay. It was like, there's it was just a little boring. A little boring, yeah. But I'll be picking up the next. I think that came out like two weeks ago actually. So now some back issues I got. I got these back issues last week, but I never showed them. X-Men King Size Special number one. It's in sort of low grade, maybe a four. But I got it for ten bucks, and it's Avengers vs. the X-Men. The art is really nice. Jack Kirby and the colors look really nice. Put that in the mailer. X-Factor number 15, got this for $3, it was a little more than what I wanted to pay, I wanted to pay $2, but, you know, all these books are going to go in pretty high. This is a really nice copy, X-Factor 15, when Archangel loses, I mean, Angel loses his wings. I got two Walking Dead back issues, Walking Dead 83, this is when Carl gets his, gets like, loses half his face, this is sort of a key, because it might be happening in the show. And then Walking Dead 85, and this is sort of an expensive book, I realize, because it's, oh, both these books are meant to real nice shape. It's like the first appearance of Witch Doctor, and I guess that's sort of worth a lot. And the black looks really nice on this book, so I'm going to do my Walking Dead collection this weekend, don't know when though. So it's all the back issues, and I have some other things I wanted to show. So today they're giving out these Jim Lee... Batman 75th anniversary, uh, big bookmarks, and it has like all these on the back. It is 
all these Batman graphic novels listed, so I thought that was pretty cool. And I got this book last week. Overstreet Comic Book Price Guide Great uh, Grading Guide. This is the first edition. It was eleven dollars on Amazon. It was really nice condition for because it's from nineteen ninety two, so it says everything about the grading and stuff. So I'm gonna look through that and know how to grade my books now. It'll be better at grading. And last night I was looking through some of my graphic novels and I realized I want to keep them in better shape. Shape. So I put the ones I read in mylar and backing board. So. Some people might not like that or like to do that, but I want to to keep them in nice shape. And now I can put them in like my long box, or short box. Origin. I got this second hand, so it's sort of beat up. Batman, The Dark Knight Returns, favorite graphic novel. Alan Moore. Oh, no, not Alan, Frank Miller. I was thinking of Watchmen. And lastly, Saga number one. So, those are some of my favorite graphic novels that I put in my line and stuff. So, I got a lot of books from the last two weeks. So, comment, please, and let me know what you think. And look out for my Walking Dead comic book collection this Saturday. So, this is X-Fix 101 tuning out to YouTube.